Hi everybody, welcome back to my crafty desk and we are gonna do a little um, crafty, a messy craft here. Um, I'm gonna play with some of the alcohol inks that I have. I only have a few. I grabbed, I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but I did grab my some of these crayon, these gelato things that I, I actually, all these things I bought at yard sales, except for my ink sprays. I did buy those full price. Um, and then I just grabbed a couple of paints. I just, these are brand new. I've seen them at Walmart. So I grabbed the Peacock Pearl and Champagne Gold. Aren't they beautiful? I just want to play with those a little bit. So I also grabbed out of my stash some stays on Metallic Inker um, Gold color, um, Yard Cell. And then from 2002, back in the Halloween days, I still had this in my stash and I could never throw it away because it's got glitter in it and it's a gel, it's a body, I think a spray on body spray. So I want to see if it'll stay on when I get gesso on there. I want to see if it'll actually stay on there. So I thought I'd put up that and grab me some gloves because I'm super messy. And even though you're going to see this in the future of today, actual recording, this is um, our parade day and I'm going to try to not have paint and glitter all over me before we go out to get on the fire truck and go into parade day. Parade day. May day. It's May day. I'm calling it parade day because it's going to be the parade. Anyhow, we have six grandkids that are here that want to ride on the fire truck. So um, I'm going to ride with my husband on there to help, um, you know, keep them their, in their excitement contained a little bit and just help them if they need help throwing out their candy. So I took off my mat. I've got my heavier duty um, wax paper. There's the shiny side and a porous side. So I'm going to take it. I, so I cut it. I ripped it out, cut it down a little bit. I'm going to take my porous side and put it on my, this is one of those um, crafters mats. You can get anything on it, hot glue, any, glue, any paint, everything that just comes off. I love it. But I'm going to work on the porous side because then I can use this in something later on if I want to and then if you hear a lot of the th a lot of thumping I'm in the basement and we have grandkids here and a, and a very excited dog so that's loving to see, see her um her little um well I, the, her nephews and nieces because you know she's my baby which means that's she's my children's sister their her their first sister and, so anyhow, that's that's what you hear, and I apologize. We're gonna have to bear through it to get through this though. So, and then I have I pulled off the other side. This is my shiny side, which I'm gonna just set over here. So I can pull it together, <laughs> and then that way I can use that kind of like a, a a secondary palette, if you will, for if I need it. If I need it, I am not an artist. I make up everything as I go. I just do what I think will be fun. <coughs> which leads to great messes. <laughs> Pardon me. All right, so I grabbed some bags. So this is something that I've done before. This is one of these bags and I just painted it. Uh, so I just grabbed this just so we can look at it. So I grabbed one of the these bags and then I grabbed a one of my avocado dyed white lunch sacks. And then I also grabbed, well, I guess I got, grabbed a couple of everything. So like this one might have some more color on it, but and then I grabbed one of these because, you know, I think this is something that almost everybody has um, is the pharmacy, pharmacy bags. So let's see. So the first thing I do is I like to get some gesso on there because none of this is watercolor paper, which means that when I put the water and things like that on there, we know it's going to just eat it up. So I'm going to throw some of my gesso paint on here. Whoops. Yep. And it dries fast, so that's a big old fat glob. I also could not find a one of my, I usually use like the old credit cards and things or fake credit cards, but since I cleaned up, I have no idea where I put them. So I'm just gonna use my regular scraper here and I'm just gonna take some gesso and I'm just gonna go like this. Now I'm gonna go a little bit heavy on the pharmacy part because um, that's not particularly something I want to showcase. I just want the sack, you know? And I like that it's tall and, and thin, tall and thin, unlike me. <laughs> so, you know, Hoppus sits a track, right? So anyways, okay, let's see. There we go. I just want it, I don't want it really, really thick, but I don't want it so thin that you can see through it. A little bit is okay, because I'm gonna put paint on there, but then I wanna make sure I put this other places. 
so the kids I can hear them they're excited they're probably they might come down here I have the door closed just in case they were all sleeping when I came down and I told my husband I'll be up there by quarter um, after seven to start breakfast I've got um, we're gonna make I'm gonna make French toast cinnamon vanilla -y French toast bacon and eggs and I'm gonna cook outside on the um, blackstone thingy so my husband got a really good deal on that. Some, somebody had bought it, I guess, and they never used it, and it got all rusted. So basically, almost got it, I mean, almost got it for free. Or did he get it for free? Anyhow, or maybe he did a little bit of work in exchange. I don't know, it was something, something super inexpensive. Anyhow, he did that, and we got the Blackstone, and then he treated it, cleaned it, and did all the treatments that you do on it, and Then we have a black stone, and it's, it's a nice large one. So I, I, I love it. Do our stir fries and stuff on it, it's nice. Thanks to my friend Brianne, she's the one that taught us how to do it. Um, get to grab those yummy noodles and these um, super yummy vegetables from Costco. It's such a fast, easy dinner, and it's so delicious. Okay, let's see. I don't even know what I'm doing. So I think, I think it's just that I don't like that scraper. It's not thin like a, a, a like a card. So I'm just going to use my fingers in my gloved hand, which is also ooh, I kind of like that. Yeah. So there's just like one layer, and I'm just going to do the one side so we can do it kind of quick. I mean, I don't care that I'm getting it all over the back. I kind of like that little bit. It's just kind of, it's kind of like for me, it's just like whatever happens, happens kind of thing. Like I, I can go in with any intention I want, but it's almost never gonna be that because I don't know what I'm doing. It's just fun. And I, I've always loved finger painting, so this is right up my alley. And I love the, the pink on this and the coffee dye, like the, I love that that looks, so I'm just gonna, Oh, that's kind of fun. Look at that. You can use your gloves to do um, splotches. I didn't know that. I just learned something new. Let's do that. Let's get some texture on there. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I don't want fingers, though. I don't want fingers, no. It's all right. <laughs> oh, well, if I have my fingers, or like if they super show up, up I'll just fill it with those um, Vienna finger cookies, and then... A little thing of tea and make and gift it to somebody and that way it can be kind of like a fun fun funny present fun funny now then I just take oh shoot I think I I emptied out all my inks because I spilt them and then I poured them in these little things hoping that it would work better but you know see it's still gonna show through we'll have to we'll have to play around a little bit more with that oh also take the cap off helps right so shake it up because these are those. Um, so this, these are the shimmer sprays, um, delusions. But I, I, I struggle to be able to use the nozzles. Like I've sprayed them upside down. I've run them with hot water after I've used. I've done all kinds of stuff. And I just can't get them to work. So usually I end up opening the bottles and then just like putting the ink everywhere. And then of course I spill the ink and then. You know, it just goes on from there. So, let me see. So it's just kind of like this. this is all I do. I just kind of just have fun. See where I want it. And I don't know, are these, is this an alcohol base? Because it dries really fast. Let's see. I've got my spray bottle here just in case. So, so we're just going to paint these. We're not going to make anything with these today because I'm going to take up probably all the time just trying to do this, which is fine, I think. I think it's fine. 
I love this um, gold paint. I love gold. So, let's see what happens when I put a little bit of that on there. And I probably didn't let my dresser dry, so my bag's gonna get all crazy. Oh, look at it, got all. Okay, so it didn't like that. That's an ink, so we just learn, we just go, we keep working. Better give this bag a little bit of a break. I'll just set that over here. Let's see about this one. I better screw these on. Okay, I don't know where that cap went. Let's see. Even though I didn't get a lot of gesso on this, I'm gonna still try this. Let me get those out of there. I'm the, I'm the kid that dumps the box of crayons out. <laughs> okay. I figured these bags have already went through the water with doing the, the inking, I mean the, the, my gosh, avocado dyeing, coffee dyeing, stuff like that. So I should be able to get them wet again and then just let them dry. They're gonna get wrinkly and if I don't like that, I can iron them later. I'm not gonna even worry about that right now. What do you say, should this color or the purple? I don't know. Let's try some, let's try something there. And this one here. See what's going on. Ooh, that's really pink, isn't it? Pink, pink. Ooh, I got my water right here too, so let me try that. And I just totally took over that one, didn't I? Okay, so let's get some dark, some pink dark over here. Plus, I already have that right there, right? Let's try that water. Whoa, that's a lot of water. That's a lot of water, Sandra. It's gonna be very colorful. But that's okay. And now, I think what I wanna do is put some more of this on here. And kind of bring that maybe through here and down in here. And maybe even up in there. Down in here and up in there. And then some more water. And I'm just, I mean, I, I know I'm using a lot of water. I'm just trying to be light touch. And I am not an expert. I literally am just playing. So just, I do like that. Maybe, oh my gosh. So I've, obviously I have the fairies journals on my mind when I'm doing this because I feel like I just need a little bit of darkness, but I don't want to put black on there right now. So maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit of this. What color is that? What color did I make it? Hmm. I think I'm liking that. So. Has anybody ever played with these? Um, any kind of like watercolor crayon type things? I didn't get to go to school for very long and so I really missed out on getting to go to art classes and stuff and then I started my family very young i was um so sh extra sharing moment <laughs> i started my family when i was 17 and so <clears throat> needless to say i did not do a lot of the things that i thought i was going to do so funny i was like i thought for sure i was going to join the air force and do all that kind of stuff so how, how crazy huh anyhow um so there's one bag that's kind of, I'm gonna let that set the one aside for a minute. Let's do work on this guy. This one, I kind of want to play with these paints. 
so they're not open yet. And of course, I've got these gloves on my hand. Owie. Let's see what happens here. Oh. oh my gosh, did I say welcome? Welcome, welcome. My name is Sandra. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for joining me. I hope we're having fun. <laughs> I've got kids on my mind and they want to, I want, I can't wait to go have some fun with them. Okay. Ooh, that's very translucent. I like that. Let's see about this one here. And if nothing else, if I really don't like it, I can just tear these apart and do something else. I can throw it in the giveaway pile. I can do, I can do all kinds of stuff. So I'm not locked in. I feel like when I use these bags that I paid, you know, money for and I got the bundle, I feel a little bit more like, I don't know, like I got to be a little more careful. Oh, I don't think I mixed that up very good, but that's all right. I'm just going to spread that down. I think what I'm going to do is take some of that maybe and share the love over here. Just to get some of that glitter. I think I'm off the camera. I'm standing up, so I apologize if my regular size but looks larger than life head on the video is in there. Okay. See, I think, so that ink did stay. I wonder, maybe I just need to, I wonder if I mix it with the gesso. Oh, I've never done that before. So I just had some gesso on my thing over here. Is that what made it all lumpy and bumpy? Which is fine, because I do think that's just texture, but there's my gesso, and now I have my ink, my gold ink in there. That's kind of cool. Ooh, yes, yes, and yes. Now, will it still have a tooth to it to paint on top of or to drop other inks? I don't know. I don't think so. You would think, but I don't know. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I'll do stuff like this. I don't know why I always want to paint when I'm in a hurry, but, <laughs> but so I guess my subconscious knows that if I, if I have too much time to think, I'm gonna really mess things up. But I do this and then I, it has to dry, so then I leave to do whatever I'm doing. And then I come back and I and I see it with different eyes and that's kind of nice too. You know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. Try to use all the love here. Okay. I probably need to shake that up more. Hello. It's okay. I love the color, so let's just go with the flow. <laughs> the flow. Just float on out. Oh, look at all that texture is coming through now. That's good. That's cool. I like that. Oh my gosh, so cool. I'm loving it. So this is what I've got so far. So I think we will just do these maybe in a couple of different stages and let these dry and then see. I really want to see this one though fully, fully shook up. Oh, and I want to put that um, Halloween spray on to see how that will see much better. Much, much better. So it's very translucent, but I, I want the sparkle. I know I really want to have stuff to play with those, um, that fairy and butterfly journal. And I'm gonna reprint them both on the coffee dye paper. So I'm thinking there's gonna be several different journals. Um, you know, as long as I don't get tired of doing the same, I don't think it'll be the same thing because I feel like I tend to um, do very different things at the same time, which is good. I mean, it's, you know, why not use every personality at the same time? Nobody should have to sit on the sideline, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Does anybody does anybody understand what I'm saying? What color is this? Oh, it's a light pink. Okay. 
Okay, I'm supposed to be switching over to the, um, is it pink? I don't even know. Or is, oh, is that like a pearly? We don't know yet. We don't know. We don't know, Sandra. Do it. Put it down there. I don't really know what it is. Maybe my colors are too dark in there to find out. Oh, okay. So I am liking this. Um, if nothing else, I can always put an image on that if, it, if I can't cover it up all the way. But I still love the bag. Um, there's, I mean, I've used these for so many things, like sewing the edges. I still have some room and if I don't want those gussets. Or I can just, um, sometimes I just um, do part of it, like right there, but leave this op part open so that I have plenty of sack room in there. So folding it up, you can do, I've done things where I have folded it up like that and then folded it up again. It does get a little bit bulky, but honestly, these bags are so thin. Like, even with that, like, I know we're not supposed to be making anything, but even with that, I've got a pocket, a pocket, a pocket, a pocket, a tuck if I want instead of a pocket up at the top, but there's just so many things. So, but I want this to stay out right now and dry. And then everybody has their caps on. Okay, and then we wanted to test one more thing before we end this video. So this, like I said, this is that body spray. It's the sparkling spray. Um, this is from 2002. Oh my gosh, Duncan Enterprises. Anyhow, when I was going through my Halloween stuff to clean things out, because I just, I'm not able to celebrate Halloween like I used to, and I miss it so much. But I do have lots of things in there that I like playing with, so I thought I would just keep them. So it's just a gel, kind of a body spray, but with, it's got glitter. But I thought, I'm gonna, I wanna put it on here and just let it soak into the bag and see if the glitter actually stays. Do you know what I mean? And if it does, then I will keep it in my stash. Okay, Maggie cannot stay. There we go, let's get her chimney Christmas. Let me see, maybe I can get it off of this. Yep, and I got a paper towel here somewhere, but I don't know where. Of course not, oh, there it is, it's a baby wipe. Okay, so I just wanna see if it's gonna stay. So I'm just gonna smush it down a little bit and then we will see, and I'll just add some over here too. Why not? Why not? All right, so this is where I leave you off, friends, and we will return again for a second part on here to see how these have fared and what else we're gonna add to them. But this is the beginning of my inky bags, painted bags um, that I, I just like to do. They're just fun, and this is a, such a fun project to do with the kids. So. Um, I think I'll probably do this with my grandkids later on. I'll take some paints and stuff and have them make some stuff too. Anyhow, thanks for having, hanging out with me, and I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. I hope you did too, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.